Welcome to Scene TV, I'm Marcus. Today we're down at the Adelaide Hilton Hotel where we're catching up with performer Simon Taylor. Simon's in town for his shows for the Adelaide Fringe and we're going to find out all about it right now. Hi Simon and welcome to Adelaide. Thanks for having me Marcus, I like this place, I like these pillows. Isn't it? It's, it's very luxe. You know how people like steal towels and cutlery from hotels? I might pinch one of these pillows by the end of the segment. Pin down the cushions. <laughs> um, so you've performed in Adelaide before, haven't yes. you? You've been doing the Fringe for a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah, this is my sixth year and I keep coming back and I think it's just because the audiences are so giving and they make me feel like I'm a, a real entertainer so that's nice. You played rocks right? Yeah yeah uh, well look there's a lot of money in Perth but I, I spend more time in Adelaide put it that way. <laughs> so speaking of Adelaide where are some of your favorite hangouts when you are actually here you know the restaurants the bars? I'm um, all about Ebenezer Place I love that I jump I cafe flounce people pub crawl I ca cafe flounce yeah. Uh, I really love this cafe called E for Ethel on Melbourne Street. That's one of my favourites because they have lots of little arts and crafts. So you go have a coffee and then you go buy your mum some, you know, little uh, cross-stitch contraption or something. It's great. So I love that. And uh, i not much of a beach dude. I'm more of a, a city boy. So I, I like all the little arcades in town and places like that. And we've got some really cute, quirky little places popping yeah. up now, haven't we? Absolutely. It's a great place. It must change every time you come back so Well, much. the markets have been so good. Ebenezer Place has those markets on the weekend. So people come, they come with their little handmade greeting cards and the T-shirts that they design themselves. And I, there's nothing better than artisan pro products for me. Because you, you meet the person who created it. And for me, that's so awesome. So Adelaide's always good for that. There's a really nurturing vibe for artists, uh, artisan creatives, so uh, I support that as well. Let's talk about your show, I mean that's yeah. why you're here. Um, yep. Tell us what people are going to expect from your show. For people that haven't seen it yet, it is playing for another week and yep. a half. A week and a half. What can people expect? They can expect to laugh their faces off. I've done so many, uh, so many shows so far and it's just, it's just getting better and better each night. And it's really just a, like if you know my stuff, if you look online, you see my stuff, it's all about language and accents and, and an interest in people. So that's why the show's called Human, because it's about trying to connect with humans despite language or where they live. A big part of the story is me being such a city boy. I'm an inner city boy with my fancy shoes and my tight jeans and going to country towns and all the conflict that happens there or them giving me dirty looks and, and then you know, them fixing my car because I couldn't fix it myself <laughs> and all that sort of play off against each other and realizing you can just connect with people if you get rid of all the other, uh, other stuff on top. Mm. Your experiences over the course of the last couple of years, you've, mm. you've been overseas, you've done a lot of overseas traveling. Yeah. Um, I've heard that you've actually bumped into quite a few big celebrities over there. I have, I can um, name drop a few. Oh, I love name dropping, <laughs> I love it. Um, let's start off with one of the biggest, yeah. um, Jay Leno. Yeah. How did that come about and what did you do with him? Okay, so I did a gig in LA. My friend was living in LA and he said, come over, come hang out for a couple of weeks. So I had a gig booked. And after I did the gig, a producer from The Tonight Show approached me and said, hey, come see The Tonight Show. I like your stuff. Come hang out. So I, did, I went to The Tonight Show just to watch. But after the show, the producer's like, no, 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 come and meet Jay. I'm like, I didn't know this was going to happen. So I go meet Jay. And when I shook his hand, I was just joking with him and saying, oh, you know, I could write some jokes for you. Ha, ha, ha. Wouldn't that be funny? And he's like, yeah, OK, yeah, send you some jokes in, yeah. And so my little Australian smart aleck humor <laughs> appealed to him and and I wrote some jokes that night sent them in and the next day I had a contract yeah, wow. so for about two years up until he retired I was writing gags for the tonight show so I was reading every bit of Justin Bieber Kardashian news and writing all my little jokes and yeah lots of those got up and there's plenty of those stories right so many well I'll tell you some of my favorites um, Kardashian joke they got up was Kim Kardashian had to leave the Middle East because of protests in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, apparently they have a strict rule there to come to Bahrain, you at least have to have a Bahrain. Uh, and then Justin Bieber, I like that the cameraman's laughing, that's good, that's good, that's a good testament. And the Justin Bieber one, this was the last joke that I wrote for Leno before he retired, it was Justin Bieber's uh, got into some hot water in the media for a photo emerging of him uh, licking a stripper's breast 
Like, well, you got to give him a break. He only stopped bre breastfeeding a few weeks ago. So, <laughs> so though, isn't that fun? I just get to read the news and then just write rip silly it jokes, rip yeah, it apart. Yeah, yeah. So that was a joy to do for a couple of years. There were, you know, political jokes and there were more uh, scientific jokes, but the pop culture ones were the, were the most fun. Let's step back a couple of names. Yeah. Um, you did drop the Kardashian name. Yes. Um, apparently there's a bit of a story there as well, yeah? I met uh, Chris and Chloe. Chris had a talk show for about three minutes. And, and I, uh, my friend was on it. So I went and hung out with my friend. And my friend had some props. He was doing some magic tricks. And he dropped the cards all over the, the set. So during the break, he's like, let's get out of here. Help me clean this up. So I'm like, all right, we're collecting the cards. And as I'm collecting these cards, I get closer to where Chris and Chloe are chatting off air. And they're talking about um, being handcuffed in the bedroom. And Chloe says to Chris, have you ever done stuff with handcuffs? Chris says, oh, yeah, of course I have. And then I've looked up and I have this towering Chris Jenner over me. I'm like, oh, I hope she doesn't have him on her now. Uh, but I just, yeah, for someone who, you know, I, re I actually really love the Kardashians, but I, that, they, mom they're that they're moment was a little content. bit too much information yeah. for me. <laughs> or was it? I mean, look how far you've taken yeah, it. Yeah, well, there you go. Now, now I know, now know, I know, now I know the... The, the, the fetishes of Chris Jenner and Chloe Kardashian. We all need to know their we fetishes. We all need right? to know it. <laughs> Just in case those videos don't come out. Mm. Um, lastly, right. tell us about your show. Where's it playing? How long is it playing for? Okay, so it's Simon Taylor Human playing at The Garden. Uh, and it's on 8.15 every night. And I'll be on until March 13. And the weekends are, I think, pretty much sold out. So maybe, maybe book online. But uh, you should be able to get tickets if you book ahead. But don't leave it to last minute because I've had so many friends messaging me, oh, I wanted to come see you tonight, but you were sold out. Well, shouldn't you be happy for me? Yeah. So true. Simon, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Marcus. As you can see, plenty of time to still catch the show. You've been watching Scene TV. And I'm we'll taking see you again this pillow. Soon. <laughs>